on behalf of uh, the LGBTQ in Nigeria and uh, on behalf of Bob Risky, I am begging the federal government to please forgive Bob Risky. Please, please forgive Bob Risky. Please, just forgive him. <laughs> I know some of you are wondering why I did that. I received a petition from somebody, an LGBTQ alleged community, and they said over this issue of Bob Risky that I've been very, very wicked with my words and that I am not a good person. In fact, they said, one of the, it, it, it said they are going to try all they can eh, to make sure I do not travel out of Nigeria. Whenever I apply for visa, they are going to write to the embassy stating that I am so, so, so person and be against LGBTQ and the rest. Ah, my people, I never knew fighting for what is right in my country. We were around people to start sending me messages and they insulting me. Okay, I have begged the federal government, <laughs> they have begged the federal government to be for LGBTQ above risk. <laughs> so the thing is that, now me, I no job being so. They say I go pay for beans, make another person chop. Okay, now. Well, <laughs> I don't know what you guys want from me. Go and meet very dark bad. <laughs> okay, guys, I have apologized on behalf of Bob Risky, but justice must be done. We want justice. So, asking for justice now is not a bad thing. So let's talk about Bob Risky who say he don't ready buy himself. Ah, the guy won't buy himself. Not yet, Bob Risky. Not yet for pity sentiment. Not yet for pity sentiment. Cho cho cho. I get you where you did. <laughs> he said, I have never in my life thought about carrying my own. But now it's coming to my head, seeing what human beings are doing to their fellow human beings. Just in the name, you want to break them down by force or because you don't like them. But Britsky, how many times have you brought people down? How many times have you brought people down? You want to make me talk your story? How many times? Have you shamed people online? How many times have you said you are the mummy of Lagos? How many times have you used your influence on, on people? How many times have you even locked people up? How many times, Bob? Make we talk your story. May blog bring your story out. Hmm? You invaded the justice system. You invaded, okay, allegedly invaded the justice system. Why not fight for your right? Why not stand firm and say, I never invaded the justice system? Why do they bring pity sentiment? The letters say, ah, they don't like you. All those ones are crazy pity sentiment. Don't bring that kind of sentiment here. There are people who are going through serious life issues. You are undermining them by bringing this kind of sentiment. See, you want by yourself. Let people with serious life-threatening matters, let people who are truly depressed, don't insult them by this. You, you were happy so, you come outside for prison, they do jolly, they shake nyash. They do all crazy stuff. Now you want to act pity sentiment, you want to buy yourself. If you buy yourself, now you do yourself. Okay, they accuse you of something. The next thing you say, I don't care. They won't bring me down. I won't buy myself. Are you serious? Why don't you stand firm? Records are there be to show that you went to jail. Uh -uh. They say you know write exam. And you say you write exam. Record no good day. Which guy pity said to me, this guy, you the you, you the Jones. Then, she, then he also continue. I don't need I don't need no sympathy from anyone. 
People I might have need sympathy from are my late parents, but who will fight for you, friends? Eat as you want. I wish one be eat us. Pessy thief. They say you thief. You say you want buy yourself. Say you don't tire. You thief. Ah, uh, okay. You thief. They say you thief, and you know thief. And nobody say this one are allegations. So there are records to show say you know thief. Why don't you prove the record and re release the record and say you know thief? Sick enough. Then I will apologize. Very dark man will we, we, we'll be forced to apologize. Now you want to play pity sentiment on who? On a charma, you no know, touch me one bit. But I don't apologize on her behalf because this one just seems like she has admitted to what she did. And that's why I say I'm on. I say she don't admit to what she do. She has admitted to what she did. And I saw me see more. But if no be admission, so I don't know what it is. See, the matter never stop. Bob, you have to stay strong to face the consequences. So stay strong. You evaded police. Ah. I don't understand somebody can be or uh, cannot be guilty and you are crying that oh, oh this I don't tire. Meanwhile, as of rape, I've had an emergency sitting to discuss a bad Bob Risky matter. Ah, as of rape, get emergency city because of you. <laughs> ah, the matter is strong go. Oh. As of rape, had an emergency city because of Bob Risky. And they have ordered for thorough investigation. As of rep, ordered for thorough investigation. Thorough investigation. The one may as of rep carry your matter put for it so yawa deal for you, Bobo. According to Punch, as at uh, today publication, they say. Let me just read. They said the, the House of Representative on Thursday resolved to investigate the bribery allegation leveled against the EFCC and the Nigeria Correctional Service by social media influencer Mantis Otis, popularly known as Barry Darkman. The resolution of the House followed the adoption of a motion of urgent public importance uh, important on Thursday, sponsored by the member uh, representing ECO. He quote Ekmene Akara Federal Consequency Akwaibon State. Addressing his colleague, Umo expressed concern over the widely circulated publication by Very Dark Man against the EFCC and the NCS. He said, The publication alleged that EFCC dropped money laundry charges against Idris, also known as Bobrisky, upon collecting the sum of 15 million naira. The publication, okay, the publication alleged that Idris, upon conviction for, uh, for abuse and the uh, of uh, the Naira by the court, did not serve his time at the Nigeria Correctional Service, but was lodged outside the confines of the service. We are disturbed about this damning allegation against Nigeria. Critical law enforcement agency, the EFCC and the NCS establishment by these hallowed members to fight uh, correction and a carcerate person convicted of crime for correctional purpose, respectively. Now, they are call, calling for thorough investigation. Now, I mean, they don't carry your matter, go out of rape. <laughs> but, I am still willing to bet money. Nothing will still happen. So maybe I don't know the one me Bob Briskey say he want carry he, he want buy, buy himself he want buy himself he want buy she he she he she he she he eh she he want buy himself he want buy himself she he want buy himself I do not know what is he want buy himself for calm down the worst is yet to come stop invading so you want to invade another punishment <laughs> okay not joke see you know what the joke around there eh you could have pity sentiment. I know the pity. Sorry, sorry, I don't. 
it's not about LGBTQ. It's not about that at all. It's about the integrity of my country. Somebody will say, oh, go and look for integrity of your country by punishing politicians. We never hear that one now. And now the one way we did because I on now we will talk about. Eh? Hmm? But I have apologized to the Federal Republic of Nigeria on behalf of Bob Risky.